A rush to vaccinate as COVID variants spread. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. You've heard a lot of talk about COVID variants, and now researchers here in Maryland are trying to track them in hopes of stopping their spread. WJZ right now live outside the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Rachel Menatoff explains how they are doing it and why it's such an important tool. Rachel. Denise Vick, scientists here are using what's called genome sequencing, and it allows them to track several of the well-known COVID variants and maybe even some we don't yet know about. When someone gets a positive COVID test, the only information that tells us is that the person is in fact infected with the virus. It doesn't tell us anything about the strain of virus. The only way to find out is through a more specific process of genome sequencing. It's very important to understand if variants are emerging in a population. Dr. Jacques Ravel is a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. He says understanding what kind of virus a person has could change the way we implement public health interventions. And it also tells us whether or not the vaccines protect against variant forms of the virus. We want to understand the penetration, if you want, of the virus in the population population of those variants and if they become more prevalent it's indication that they actually might be more transmissible for example scientists at the University of Maryland Johns Hopkins and the state health department are testing 10% of all positive covid cases looking for some of the well-known variant strains i know there are several around the world it probably is going through uh several mutations by now. Dr. Ravel says through genome sequencing, they've now found that between 20 and 25 percent of all positive cases in Maryland are linked to the UK variants. It's kind of like taking a snapshot in time of the virus. Tim Newenhouse is a PhD student in human genetics at Johns Hopkins who's familiar with this type of technology. If you can see consistent mutations through different viral strains, you can trace back where the virus is just traveling. And there are lab studies indicating that the vaccines protect against some of the variants more so than others. But researchers caution tonight that much of this data is preliminary. We're live tonight outside the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.